Hello, Hello. 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 205, where are you located there, Bray? Uh, Hey, we doing good, man. Just got old radio night getting ready to crank up down here in South Carolina. You sounding good there. I got you on this video gate. You're the first, hey, the first customer there, Roger. Uh -huh. Yeah, Roger, I sure would be glad to do it there. No doubt we go and, uh, hey, get some little coffee or something there. No doubt there. All right, man, let me get on the side. Them other fellas probably want to holler at you. Sounding good. Appreciate you Something coming in there. Like i got to turn this TV down. It's getting all up in my cornflakes. It's 21, oh, dirty diaper. East Coast getting on down. You know who is your friend 205? Yeah, bro. Catch you later, my brother. Bum bum. I-205. I-205. 755-755. North Carolina's trying to break break. I'm born in Tennessee, y'all. I'm riding 205. I'm riding 205. 205, who are you talking with now? Hey, you have a good Merry Christmas, 205, miles from south of that, y'all. You got somebody you're talking to next to you? You got a passenger in there? I don't know. All right, I'm back out. You must be. You got any of this in there coming back, has it? It must be louder than you are inside the vehicle. Who knows? Who knows? And I'm sitting back. I'm just sitting on the overpass waiting my turn. Go ahead on the overpass there, Wizard. Tell you what. Tell us what you're working with there. Uh, I got a Mirage 88. Since the last time I talked to you, I finally got my uh, 300 back. And then uh, peaks at 500 watts with a little Wilson 2000. And so I'm sitting on the 89 Mercury Grand Marquise. He's sitting out here on the overpass in Harleyville, just watching cars ride by, enjoying the scenery there. Stand for got a real good clean copy on you over here. No doubt about it. All right, man, let me stand by. How far are we swinging? I got you about eight pounds over here. Near Carnes Crossroads in uh, Goose Creek, Somerville, Moss Corner area. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Near Cane Bay. Yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about. I, was, I came to there earlier. 410. Everybody knows where that Cane Bay is. Every time you go that way, shit, you get in traffic. Only if you're going back towards the Somerville side there. But you do go turn off the Dagon 176, neither. You do, you, you can't tell getting back on it. I know. Crazy man, you gonna go ahead and tell us what you're talking on? Ah, oh, I'm going for it. <laughs> Damn, we gotta get that post up, go down and that.
power of it. You believe back out? 410. Fuck oh, in! How about that 755? You gonna say what you got over there? What are you talking to? I'm talking to 755. 755, 755, slave driver. Around Charlietown, South Carolina. I'm dealing with a Galaxy Saturn base station, 40 channels, and a little extra. And a D104 microphone. Got a dozy meter set. Use a little foot warmer PAL 351. And a little Antron 99 on a 60 footer tower. And I'm back out. Sounding good. How about you there, Night Ranger? I'm sitting there docking on my favorite radio, realistic TRC 451, 40 channel mobile on an Astron R7A power supply with a D104. And I was going to put up something else, but I just recapped this 10 tube DNA Phantom. The thing's been blowing fuses on high power. And I had those crappy Chinese capacitors I put in there that were like way too damn small. I mean, the voltage rating said right, but physically they were so small, so. I couldn't find anything else, so I got some brand new German-made F and T capacitors and put replaced all the high voltage caps. And we'll see if I can run on high voltage now without it blowing fuses. So that's what I've been busy doing was recapping this Phantom for about the past 45 minutes. Sounding good. <coughs> Sounding good on all of us, huh? What kind of antenna you say you're working with? What kind of antenna are you using there, a uh, Night Ranger? I'm just trying to blow the dang fuse. There's still something else wrong. You might have a homosexual inside there. Wow! <laughs> Woo! Oh, God, I did. I'm going to flash in there somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it'll let me a jaw mark. But I've got all new tubes in it, so that's not it. And so I've eliminated capacitors, so... I gotta go check the diet maker, see if I got something working. What are you doing, buddy? You probably got those rotten on right now. Devil. I saw a flash when they sneaked down, so. Let me go get the mask. I can't help it. My cousin had a suit up, and my top gums, I got them safe up there. Last night, I just sneaked in there and took my teeth out the top of my mouth. Rotten on right now. Oh no. Not out. Wizard, you still up on overpass? Oh, Wizard must have had to move. I tell you what, man, that James Island connector over that water, that's a good place. You know, I picked up a um, couple of radios the other week when um, I went to Ham Fest, right? And um, it's two, I picked up a couple of walkie talkies, and one of them is a 1974 realistic 40 channel with this big old long antenna in, in perfect mint condition. And believe it or not, I hooked it up today and it works like brand new. 
Dang. Can you, does it have a BNC connector on the top or does it pull straight out of the inside of the radio? Rubber Dunkey antenna, it might, I think it's a little bit newer, but um, and it works perfect too. And I, I, was, I, I couldn't believe it. And I got that, them two, and another little handheld and a CB um, piece of junk CB, I don't even know what kind it was, all for $5 as it, as it, as it, as it meat. Dang, stole it. Oh, God, we're recording me. I don't know who's talking to who. They're recording me. Alright, I'm back. Tip hey, old. This time I got the Maverick. So, let's tune for a second. So, this time's still shorting. The flash looked like it came back from where one of the relays is, so maybe I got a relay flashing over. And it blew the fuse. Well, it was trying to. I keyed. I saw a flash and the lights blinked, and I unkeyed real quick. So it was trying to. So maybe that's a relay flashing. Right. But I did at least see a flash that time. But it didn't appear to come from any of the tubes. It looked like it came from underneath the chassis. So my ex again. I'm gonna go to look around those relays. See if one of those relays is flashing. Yeah, I still got to get mine back down after I put caps in it. And I couldn't get it to do crap. I think that daggum uh, all-around capacitor that doesn't non-polarize is what the problem is, you know. I'd never even heard of a non-polarized capacitor. I always heard of a, you know, negative and positive end on it. And that's the only one I could really get right then at that value, you know, at the, at the MFD and all in the voltage. So I talked to somebody, oh, yeah, yeah. And she, I said, well, my question is, if this, yeah, why don't you use them in everything? Why don't you, why are you worried about, the, uh, you know, uh, negative and positive on any of them? Why don't you just get one like that for everything? So anyway, I think that's the problem. I've only seen the non-polarized for small voltages anyway. I've never seen a high voltage non-polarized, I mean, other than a ceramic disc capacitor. Uh, this is in, uh, this is not in high voltage circuit. This is like, I don't know how many volts. It might be 24 volts uh, rated the max. I don't know. I know they got them in the key in circuit. If you got a tube key in circuit, they got that capacitor in there. That might be it. It's a tube. It's a tube key in circuit. It's the gray one just like you got. I got a tan and brown one, but, and mine's got solid state key, but I, but I got the same tube circuit on the Maverick. Oh, okay. I thought you had the gray ma uh, uh, Phantom. Okay. Well, I got the gray Phantom, and I got uh, a uh, tan and brown Maverick, and a two gray Mavericks. You know, now I'm thinking about it, that high voltage does go through. It does go through that relay, so that could be it, because it, it cuts the high voltage off when you in key. So that could be it. It could be that relay flashing. Yeah, you probably got in there with a fingernail file and scratched a whole bunch of ridges and all in there. No, I haven't done any of that, but in any case, I like that going there and look see if there's burn and flash marks around the relay. I bet that's it. I'd have to put a new relay. There's like three of them in there. I don't know how many. I know the high voltage goes through at least one of them. Yeah, didn't you like how I said you got in there with a fingernail file and scratched it all up, put lines all in it? No, I didn't. I know, I just made that up. Now, what? 21? Dirty diaper might actually say something that's not true? Can it be? <laughs> you been a long time. Where, where you been? Yeah, he has to, he lies so much he has to turn his face to the side to keep his nose from growing and knocking his D104 over. Yeah, it just, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's a habit. So. At this point, what does it matter? It is so. A local station? Hello, local. Local, Yoko. Local. Where you at? Come on. Uh, Ladson. You're in Ladson, okay. A uh, USC, I know, I think. Uh, had, did you used to have a tower behind your place? Behind the what? Did you used to have a tower, a radio tower behind your house? I might have you mixed up with another fella. Well, did you are you a amateur operator as well? 
Uh, yes. Okay, did you used to make antennas? Oh, wow, you know me. Yeah, 10-4. I've been to your house. I've been to your bedroom. Uh-oh, no. I've seen all that equipment you had, you know, ham radio equipment. I came over there one time when you was over there about Karomi Place or whatever off of uh, Chicago Park Road and uh, you had a little lathe and a garage thing and make you make antennas there, Roger? Roger, Roger. Yeah, that's me. Man, I tell you, that's been long, that's been a long time ago. Uh, good to hear you out there, man. I'm going to get on the side of Crazy Man holler, holler at you there. He's right down the road from you. But anyway, 21 over here, we back out. Yes, hell. Uh, nice to hear you again. 10-4, 10-4. Four, four. I thought about you the other day, man. Well, anyway, I got you on old radio night every Saturday night at 8 o'clock. A bunch of us get in here and uh, several of them record it there and put it on YouTube. So you'll be on YouTube if you want to hear how you sound and what your signal you're putting on me over here near Cane Bay High School. Just look up Dirty Diaper 21 and uh, you'll see it there. All right, man. We back out. Thank you very much, and uh, have a good night. Hold on, man. I'm on that side of that car that's part of the road. You've got one side, and I got the other side. Crazy, crazy man waving the hand at you. Crazy old antenna man over there. Crazy man's coming back to you. He might have went 10-7. That's a five four zero. I'm gonna make sure I put your number on it this time. I forgot to do it last time. But anyway, you were on there, I just didn't put your number on there. Okay. I just wanted to get in there and and uh say a little something tonight there, talking on this old galaxy here, and Mike with the uh old Mako three hundred still. And pushing it up to the old penetrator outside. That has been a beautiful day out here today, I'll tell you what. I spent about all day outside cooling. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Eliminator. Hey, Night Ranger. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Thank you. Shaggy, 21, dirty diaper, we go.
Happy anniversary, Mr. T. 21 said that. Well, how do you know it was my anniversary, too? Damn, I can't keep nothing a secret no more. Roger. There's a secret now, you know, over the radio you know, over different states. <laughs> That's all right. Hey, there ain't nothing wrong with that. Worldwide, Mr. T., worldwide. Four out of worldwide. Outstanding. Yeah, stop eating there, Mr. T. Slave driver, standing by. So I can do it out of there, Mr. T. Standing by. Right, Joe, appreciate it. Yeah, hey, I appreciate it out there. Ain't no question about it. Slave driver. And shoot, I'll tell you what. It, it's been a good day. Yes, yeah, sir. Well, happy birthday to you and, and you, many more, hopefully. And, uh, you know, I'm going to let everybody get back to you. Hey, Eliminator, that uh, wizard, wizard was hollering at you. Okay, wizard. Shoot, I can't keep track of all these names here. Shoot. <laughs> Don't feel bad. Mr. T. I have to write them down. Try it again, wizard. Crazy man came in there on you. Go oh, ahead, yeah, Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, I'm going to have to start writing them down. Put them on a, a, a audio uh, thing here on my phone so I can remember the names. If I do it, I don't know who the hell is that. No, I can't read it. I do sticky notes. Sticky notes is the way to go. Fifteen four twenty one. We waving. Hello, twenty one. Twenty one. Hello. You know who it is. I'm clearing out. Ten four sounding real good. All right, man. We got you. Hey, old radio night. We gone. We don't have fifteen four to crazy man waving too. Yeah, all right, all right, old crazy man. Good evening to you. White dog nine eight seven and now you running here. Okay, I can't. I can't forget my neighbor out there. Yeah, hello, 165, and I think that uh, wizard was trying to get 15-4 up there in Harleyville. All right, I'm standing by. I was just trying, I was just trying my little mobile unit to get 15-4. Those aren't the same thing, 
97's in there, he, he's all over the place. Hang on. Yeah, he can't hear nobody. I talked to shit, eh? So many damn states, I don't even remember all of them. Hey, Wizard. Hey, Wizard, uh, could you holler at that 15 4, see if he can hear you? Wizard. Hey, 15 4, that's that Wizard in a mobile up there on the overpass. Near I-95. We're listening. So far, we ain't heard nothing, but we're listening. How about that 15 phone we over here in Hardeville sitting on the overpass? I just try one time, try one time for Hardeville side of town. We've got a KC on frequency. I've been right that to you, Rizzo, the crazy man waving the hand on Well, you sitting on top of that bridge. Somebody in Miami was calling that one a uh, 15 4. I got you there, 987. I'm waving right back. Hey, 987, you on the quad five there? Nine eight seven, you on the quad five? You know, sir? Ten Roger, okay, just checking. Is that my Yeah, I can't get them no more. I can't do no more. 
You said KC4 down in Florida, is that what you said, KC4, they're right? All right, guys, how are you doing, man? How are you doing? It's 21, I'm trying to get your call numbers of A28 there. I think you said KC4, I don't know, but anyway. All right, have a good one, old Dirty Diaper 21, South Carolina, we go.
Sounding good, dear. About to fade out on me. I thought I'd try to wave before you get going. South Carolina, over here on the East Coast. Dirty Diaper 21. You sound good on that old Mark III. I'm gone. Yeah, Roger. Well, all too, man. I got six of them cotton pickers. Anyway, you ever get on Facebook? I don't get on there too much. Look up Friends of Browning's Trams and Sonar there. And uh, they got a whole bunch of good information on it. Friends of Browning's Trams and Sonar there. All right, you have a good one. Dirty Diaper 21. Hey, we back out. Yeah, Roger, them old timers that had those FS 23s, they said that was one of the best radios for audio. They had that double push pull 6B, a 68 BQ5s as a final, but they somehow or another they went in there and disabled part of the uh, a front end of it and they ran a Demco modulator in there. That's all I know, but it's uh, a monster audio. All right, hey, I'm going to get out the way. This old dirty diaper 21, but check out that Facebook page. Friends of Browning, Trams, and Sonar. I learned a lot from that cotton picker. They got one of the best guys on there that uh, used to be at a, a business up there in Laconia, New Hampshire. Okay, 21, Dirty Diaper, we go. All right, 344, I'm going to get out the way. A bunch of them in there want to holler at you. Dirty Diaper 21, we gone. Dirty Diaper, you Yeah, I hear you told me so right there. I'm going to get out the way so them fellas can holler that 344. I'll be standing by. I'll get back with you. Good thing for you, come back to you.
Try to get Night Ranger to get on his Mark III, but he act like he's trying to save it for the, somebody else. Say, Roger. Might be Wayne's Wayne's out there. Here I am. I made a comment about this old Mark III. I said, you know, I just want to wave my hand at you real quick if I possibly can get it on your Mark III. I mean, you can get it on your Mark III. But now you can't hear me now. Hey, uh, hey, get him there, a hey, hey, night ranger. What was his handle? 344. How about a 344? 344, you got a copy on the night ranger out here in South Carolina? He done faded out. He was getting weaker. Run away Yeah, he did. 47, Missouri. You got a copy on the Night Ranger out here in South Carolina? Night Ranger, Night Ranger. 47, Missouri. The man that had the handle on you. Yeah, 47, got you about 9 plus to 10 over out here on, uh, I'm on horizontal right now, but you're coming in good around Charleston, South Carolina. Alright, 73, sounding real good. Night Ranger around Charleston, South Carolina. I'm a hey, uh, Missouri station, 021, trying your break. 021, I'm covering that guy up. Let me stand by a minute. Uh, coming up here, 344, Oklahoma City, I'm out. 344, I'm sorry, I got in there on you. Hey, the Missouri station came in there, and I just wanted to tell him, I sure was glad that he went back to my friend the Night Ranger because that cotton picker man, if he don't get somebody in skip land, he takes it out on all of us there. He'll get a baby rattle and rattle it on the cotton picking two-way communicator for about a week. Have a good one, old Dirty Diaper. South Carolina, we gone. Ten Roger Bandit, I'm gone. Notice is growing over there again. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, where's it going? I don't even know if I'm talking over somebody. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah.
344, I'm gone now. He said he's back out. Back out, back out. Night Ranger being you. Recording too. I got to run in there. So you you uh, got your video rolling, don't you? Yeah, I got the video still rolling on the CRC 451, even though I'm on the Kenwood TS 590SG right now. Oh, high tech stuff. Okay, I'll be right back. Yeah, I got the Kenwood 590 on the horizontal six element collinear ray, and I got the 451 on the vertical J pole. Pumped up, pumped up. 
Triple One. Hey, Triple One, you might not hear me, but I'm in there. Hey, Triple One, I'm in there. I guarantee you I'm in your radio. Triple One, Dirty Diaper, East Coast, break. Yeah, Roger, Triple One. All right, man, I'm going to get out of the way. I got to wave at that 45, too. He's out there, that 45. Yeah, he's on that big radio, man. He sounds like he got a broadcasting station. And he's like, wait, oh man, he ought to hear how he sounds there. Hey, have a good one. Triple one, 21, dirty diaper. We gone. Hello, 4521, reading the mail. Uh-oh, 45 done gone. And he just got down. Bump bum I'll see you later on, Triple One. Just get it up. Hey, Triple Mr. T, you still in there? I hear you, babe. I didn't get no love you at all, you. Mr. T must have gone to sleep there. We gone now. Yeah, you probably had too much birthday cake. Yeah, 10-4 and 45. 45, he went to sleep. He got sugar overload from all that birthday cake. Made him sleepy. Ah. Uh. <coughs> I thought, uh, hey, what's his name there? 